Hey, what's going on, Cloud Scholars? I hope your day is going well. I hope I found you in a good mood. My name is Kieran Tross, and I'm with another how-to video for you. And today we're going to discuss how to restrict access to the Azure portal within your environment. Now, the Azure portal has a lot of tools, a lot of resources that you don't want anyone in your organization to be privy to. So it's very imperative that you go ahead and you restrict this access to make sure that certain resources aren't being seen or that things don't get don't happen within your environment so one of the first things we're going to do is i'm in the azure portal i'm going to go to azure active directory and i'm in my cloud uh, admin portal right now um, i'm under my uh, admin account and i have a bunch of users here as you can see and i'm going to log in under test user at the moment there is no restrictions on this portal uh, for this lab so I'm going to show you exactly uh, sign in on the test user and let's take a look and it's just a brand new user and let's see exactly what it can see. So let me pull it up first. Test user one. And if I go to groups, there's no groups, assign roles. There's no assigned roles either. So this is just, hey, a user that just is straight, you know, fresh template user. And the reason why I want to show you this is because within your environment, if you moved recently to the cloud, or if you've just been on the cloud for a while and you didn't realize that you really should be restricting this access, I want to show you exactly any on-prem user that's synced to the cloud, what they'll be able to see if they simply typed in portal.azure um, within, within your organization and signed in and show you exactly what they'll be able to see. So I'm going to switch over. I'm going to switch over to Safari right now. And what I'll do is sign in under this test user so that you can see exactly what a user in your environment will be able to see if you don't have these restrictions. Okay, so here I am. I'm signed in under our test user at the moment. And if I come over here and I click Azure Active Directory, I could click here. I can see I can get into Azure Active Directory. Well, first, I can get into the cloud uh, first and foremost. Then I can see all the users that are here. If I come back over here, I can look at groups. I can see the different groups that are here. Um, if I want to go to enterprise applications, I can see that as well. Let me see what else we can take a look at. Let me see if I can go to virtual machines, if anything pops up there. So nothing pops up for virtual machines. Let's go to storage accounts. Nothing pops up for storage. So those, those uh, roles are a little bit more restricted um, by default within Azure but we can get to Azure Active Directory, which is still enough information that um, we probably don't want our users to see. So let me go back over under my uh, cloud admin uh, uh, profile. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you two ways that we're gonna go about restricting access to the Azure portal. Okay, so now we're back over into our Azure portal. And the first thing we're gonna do is if we wanna make sure that users don't have access to Azure AD itself, we can easily set that up. So we're going to go to Azure Active Directory. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come here to users and we're going to go to user settings. And then within user settings, what we're going to do next is we're going to come over here and says administrative portal, restrict access to Azure AD administrative portal. And we're going to click yes and we're going to hit save. So now what this is going to do is just it's going to block access to the administrative portal. So if a user goes in, we should they should be blocked and won't be able to see it. The next thing we want to do is we want to take it up a level. That's just going to say, OK, let's block access to Azure AD. But what we want to do is we want to create a conditional access policy for our Azure management services. Now, in order to be able to create a conditional access policy, we need to have a P1 license or higher in order to get that to go through. So what we're going to do is I'm going to come here and I'm going to type in conditional access. And then over here, I'm going to click create new policy. And I'm going to call it restrict Azure admin access. And then once I create this policy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to users and I'm going to select our test user. Now, one thing I want to show you is that in your environment, you're probably doing all your users. You're going to put all users, you'll, you'll put that in there, and then you'll exclude the users you need to exclude, right? Or if you have a group within your environment, 
like all users group, you can throw that group in there. And then you can have your exclusions and you want to make sure you, you exclude your admins. I would say make sure that you're doing that exclusions the right way because you don't want to lock yourself out of your portal. So once you go ahead and you do that, what you're going to do now is you're going to come here to cloud apps. And then what you want to search for is the Microsoft Azure management. So let's say we're going to go Microsoft Access Management. And we're going to say Microsoft Azure. I think I spelled it wrong. Yes, I did. Right here. This is one that we want to choose. And then we click select. So now that we have that one selected, what we're going to do is come down here where it says grant. And then we're going to make sure we choose block and then we click select. And then what we need to do is turn that on. So that's good. So now we have that set up the right way. We, we've gotten our, we did it through the Azure portal, which is one. And then we also did the Microsoft Azure management through a conditional access policy. And you can see our strict Azure admin access. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to jump back over to Safari and I'm going to try signing back in with that account. And let's see exactly what happens. All right, Cloud Scholars. So the changes did take effect. If you could look at the screen right now, you'll see it says test user one. It says you don't have access to this. Your sign in was successful, but you don't have permission to access this resource. So you see, we were able to successfully restrict access to the Azure portal um, by doing two things. Uh, first and foremost, we would have restricted it to the Azure AD. Uh, user would have still been permitted to log in with just the checking off that uh, specific option within the user settings. But we took it up to the next level by going to the conditional access policy and preventing access through there. So I hope that you found the information that you were looking for by clicking on this video. I appreciate the time that you spent here with me. I hope this information was beneficial to you. Here at Cloud Scholars, our goal is to get you from scholar to consultant and from consultant to expert. Thank you. And also, if you have not done so already, please smash that like and subscribe button. Really appreciate it. Thank you and have a good day.